What is up? Greetings, friends. Welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and to your well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 26 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and high blood pressure and obesity and skin diseases like acne and psoriasis and eczema and rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed on a divine basis to heal and renew itself moment to moment, day by day. And while some folks may call that a miracle, this healing, renewing, regenerating system is really just the way the body works, business as usual for the human body. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we're here for you on the bright side. We welcome your phone calls at 855-660-4261-855-660-4261. Try to get on board early. We always end up with a full board, and invariably we don't get to all our calls. It's first come, first serve, 855-660-4261. If you have questions about prescription drugs, you want to get off your meds, you want to start a nutritional supplement program, questions about the longevity products, success stories, or if you just want to Contribute to the conversation, 855-660-4261 is your number. You can also head over to my website if you want to learn more about the Longevity products, brightsideben.com. We have a shopping cart up there with all the Longevity products, including the BTT, my personal favorite, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, multivitamin mineral complex powder. You add it to water, sip on it all day long. It's a great source of the B vitamins and vitamin C and vitamin A. It all is in a liquid format, so it's easy to absorb, especially if you're dealing with digestive issues. The Beyond Tangy Tangerine can be your best nutritional friend. You can lose weight with it, lower your blood pressure. It's a great appetite suppressant, keep you from snacking in the middle of the day. If you're a diabetic and you tend to have a tend to get the munchies in the middle of the day, and you want to get some snack foods or some bread or pasta or sweets, the BTT can be a real help. A lot of times we snack in the middle of the day just because we want nutrients, just because we want micronutrition, and the food doesn't provide it. And this is why nutritional supplements can be so helpful in the BTT. Fits the bill perfectly. You can find out all about it at brightsideben.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866 735 2470. For you guys with an Android phone, you can get a Brightside app. Thank you, Ted Anderson, for doing that. You can carry the Brightside with you in your car, at work, wherever you go while you're walking. You can listen to, uh, you can review programs. You can listen to the program. Uh, if you missed a program, you can listen to the program you missed. You can also uh, check out all the shows that are on our archive page at brightsideben.com. We also have a website, benfuchsarchive.com, and all the shows are archived up there with the tags that describe the, uh, each individual program. Thank you, Peter, in the U.K. for doing that. And you can also check out my blog, pharmacistben.com. All right, thanks so much once again for joining us. I want to continue talking about this whole notion of acidity and osteoporosis and pH and ways that you can get that pH of your blood up without having to deal with foods. I'm not a big believer and using foods to raise your pH. I'll tell you what I mean. Uh, I'll tell you what I mean when I say that here in a little bit. Before we get to all that, I want to quickly address a story that's been hitting the news wires the last couple of days. And it involves phosphorus, our subject matter for the last couple of days, a couple of weeks actually, and phospholipids and lecithin. And, and it also involves the B vitamin substance choline. There was a study that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. I think it was... Uh, I think it was published just a couple of days ago. And it supposedly showed that gut bacteria in the large intestine metabolize, break down lecithin and choline into something called TMAO. Some of you may have seen this. TMAO stands for trimethylamine oxide. Just, we'll just call it TMAO. The TMAO, the stuff that comes, uh, that gets uh, processed from lecithin and choline, 
uh, and eggs and foods that contain lecithin. Uh, TMAO is supposedly linked to heart disease. And now the mainstream media is making this huge jump and saying that eggs and lecithin-containing foods and the supplement choline are supposedly not good for your heart. Hopefully I'm not going to hear any doctors uh, repeating, uh, parroting this nonsense. But it's, it's in the mainstream media. You do a quick Google search, you're going to find headlines from the New York Times and ABC News and the L.A. Times, even one of my favorite nutrition, nutritional publishing houses, New Hope Publishing, the supposed alternative type news outlet. They're all screaming about eggs, how eggs and lecithin and... Uh, and choline, which is a super, super important amino acid. They're all screaming about how these things are linked to heart disease. And this comes out on top of a study that was released a few weeks ago implicating meat and the amino acid carnitine with the production of TMAO. I wasn't going to bring this up because it's just so silly, but I think it's important, especially considering the fact that it seems to be all over the Internet, that we address this whole issue of carnitine and choline and TMAO and are eggs heart-friendly or meat heart-friendly? Is meat heart-friendly? With this article that came out a couple of weeks ago, they said carnitine and meat cause heart disease. Carnitine and meat are implicated in heart disease or linked to heart disease. Here's the problem with these kind of conclusions the way I see it. And this is aside from the very important and relevant fact that all of these substances that we're talking about, choline, lecithin, phosphorus, carnitine, all of these substances that are supposedly so dangerous for your health, they're all made by our bodies. Lecithin is made by our bodies. Lecithin is arguably one of the most important biochemicals in the body. Bile is largely composed of lecithin, and bile is super important for heart health and for overall health. All of these things that are supposed to be so bad for us are made by our body. Now, aside from the fact, and despite the fact that there is voluminous literature published over the course of at least 50 years that support uh, the use of these substances as, as not only being gentle and non-toxic and benign, but as being very, very, very important for overall health and for cardiovascular health. Lecithin is key for your heart. It's critical for heart health. So are the components in, in eggs. So is the amino acid acid carnitine. So is the B vitamin substance like choline. And to say that these things are linked to heart disease is asinine. So here's what I think about this. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Give us a call, 855-660-4261. If you've heard about this study, if you've got questions about this study, I want to know what you guys think. This is what I think. Yes, it's possible the chemicals like TMAO, which are technically a class of chemicals called methylamines, and yes, it's possible that you can have higher levels of these things when you eat certain substances, foods, perhaps vitamins like choline, which are found in foods, lecithin. Yes, it's possible your TMAO levels are going to go up. And yes, it's possible that when these chemicals go up, they can result in a certain amount of blood toxicity. I said, it's possible. It's not proven, but it's possible. I agree. TMAO, it's possible, based on its chemical structure, that there may be some kind of link between elevations of TMAO and, and, and compounds like that and heart disease. Fats in general tend to produce these kinds of compounds, and so do some amino acids. Fats are, and proteins are tricky to process, and they break down into some unfriendly compounds in the short term. Basically, these kinds of materials, fats, lecithin, phospholipids, amino acids, like carnitine, the B vitamin, choline, they feed bacteria in the gut. Bacteria like these things just like we do. Bacteria like fats and bacteria like phospholipids and, and fatty substances and choline and lecithin just as much as we do. They get nutriated from these substances like our cells get nutriated from these substances. That's just how it works. Food can be a problem. Yes, all food. Food is very tricky business. This is what we talk about on the bright side almost every day. Food is toxic. All food. It's hard to process. I should say potentially toxic. It's hard to process. And food can produce any food. I'm talking tomatoes, spinach, healthy foods, good foods, eggs, can produce toxic compounds when bacteria start to process them. The act of digestion, even under the best of circumstances, under normal, healthy circumstances, can result in the production of these kinds of wastes. This is why we have to be careful about what we eat and how we eat. But we need to eat. All right, I got more to say about this when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. You 
have all seen and heard about the elements of the periodic table. These elements are the building blocks of everything in the universe. You, my friends, are made from these elements. A shortage of any of these important trace elements can lead to disease. Go with the science and take the Lady Talk Health Challenge and get all 90 essential trace elements with a healthy start pack at LadyTalkLive.com or call 855-333-LADY. That's 855-333-5239. Research shows it's not just what you put in your body that counts, it's what you put on it as well. Why not use an all-natural, healthy, mineral-based makeup that actually benefits your skin? Once you experience the airiness and flawless coverage of Longevity Mineral Makeup, you will never use anything else. With Longevity, the perception of your complexion will be natural perfection. Animal-friendly mineral makeup at Mary Lou Health. That's M-A-R-I-L-U Health dot com. Or call 855-321-HEALTH. Gold is like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years in serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light Systems system today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at GoBerkey.com. That's GoBerkey.com today. I will never forget the day my son Jeremy told me he hated me and slammed the door in my face. I'm behavioral therapist Janet Lehman. Behavior problems can turn the child you love and your life into a nightmare. That's why my husband James and I created the Total Transformation, the step-by-step program that shows you how to fix the worst behavior problems and get your child to respect and listen to you again. No matter what the behavior, defiance, backtalk, angry outbursts, disrespect, we can help you stop it. Now you can get the total transformation for free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. You can keep it forever for free. Limited number of free programs available. Call now. 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. That's 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. Not just an alternative to the mainstream media. We are the premier independent talk radio network. We are GCN. Welcome back to the Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Our number 855-660-4261. If you want to get on board, if you've got comments or questions or you want to know anything about the longevity products, if you want to talk about uh, about this whole TMAO issue and eggs, yet another article, vilifying eggs. Somebody really has it in for eggs for some reason, and I don't know why, because, man, you can pick a more nutritionally dense food for your entire body, especially for your heart. A couple days ago, an article came out in the New England Journal of Medicine that supposedly showed that gut bacteria, so-called probiotics, can convert some of the substances in eggs, the lecithin in eggs, the phospholipids in eggs, 
into heart unfriendly compounds, things like uh, something called TMAO, which is a class of, of substances called methyl oxides or methyl amine oxides. TMAO, by the way, is related to something called fish odor syndrome. TMAO is uh, derived from a compound called TMA, and TMA smells like fish. Some folks who can't make TMAO from TMA walk around smelling like fish and it can be very unpleasant and socially debilitating unfortunately it's, it's, it can be caused by liver problems metabolic issues sometimes people are born with a deficiency in enzymes that can cause this in any case this TMAO stuff is basically a bacterial waste product bacteria will eat lecithin bacteria like lecithin bacteria like choline bacteria like phospholipids and they'll eat this stuff and then they'll excrete this TMAO TMAO is an excretory substance it's a waste substance that bacteria produce from foods. The point is, you can't eliminate the foods because the foods are key, especially foods like eggs and lecithin. We need to eat, and we need to eat well. We have trillions of bacterial cells that live inside us. They live with us. They are our best friends. They're our best nutritional friends because they, they process foods, they make vitamins, they purify our blood. They help the digestive process. They make good fats for the digestive tract. They fight yeast and other bacteria. They protect us from cancer. And they need to eat, too. And they eat basically what we eat. Anything that we eat is likely to feed these little critters. That doesn't mean we don't eat. And that certainly doesn't mean we don't eat super powerful, healthy foods like eggs and lecithin. But bacteria like eggs, too. And one of the things that these bacteria produce as a result of processing and digesting eggs and phospholipids and lecithin are the methyl oxides, these TMAO-like substances. The methyl oxides, TMAO, there's another one called DMAO. These uh, methyl oxides, these TMAOs and DMAOs that have been linked to heart disease are the bacteria's excrement. They're the bacteria's waste. They're the bacteria's version of poop. And like all crap, all waste, it's not supposed to be hanging around. That's why the body has many mechanisms for dealing with these chemicals, with these bacterial waste products, the MAO, uh, TMAOs and DMAOs, these uh, methylamine oxides. The liver has enzymes for processing them, and most of this stuff is eliminated very, very effectively. When the, when the uh, researchers at the New England Journal of Medicine did these tests, what they did is they fed people eggs, and then they measured the TMAO. They didn't measure it over the course of a day or a week or a month. In fact, I can't even find any, anything in the article that says how long they measured the TMAO levels, but they didn't measure them over the course of weeks or months or years. They measured them immediately, not taking into account that under healthy circumstances, that TMAO would get dumped out of the body quite efficiently. TMAO is a waste product, but the body has many mechanisms for dumping it out. The liver has enzymes for processing it. Most of it's going to get excreted through your urine. Some of it will get excreted through feces. The reason that elevated methylamines are associated with heart disease is basically the same reason that anything is associated with heart disease, and it has to do with something we talk about all the time. If your TMAO levels are high, that can be a problem, but it's not the egg's fault, and it's not the lecithin's fault, and it's not the phospholipid's fault, and to say, oh, well, TMAO has been associated with heart disease, so you shouldn't eat eggs, is nonsense. If your levels of TMAO, which very well could be a toxic substance for the heart, if they're elevated, blame your digestive system. It's something we talk about here all the time. Yes, probiotics, bacteria, the gut is connected to heart disease. Problems in these areas are connected to heart disease. We talk about this every day. Trimethylamines are not the issue. The issue is bad blood chemistry following a messed up digestive system, a broken down digestive tract. And this is what leads to an accumulation of the waste, of the bacterial waste that comes from food. Don't blame the eggs. Don't blame the lecithin. It's not the fault of the food. Avoiding eggs and lecithin and choline is simplistic and it's silly. In the case of uh, lecithin and eggs, not only are these substances innocent bystanders, they 
are mother loads of nutrition. They're a gold mine of nutrients that make your heart strong, that make your heart healthy. Nutrients like vitamin A and vitamin D and zinc and precious, precious phospholipids. Don't blame these healthy foods. It's not their fault. What we need to be doing, instead of staying away from these powerful and important foods and supplements, what we need to be doing is fixing our guts, fixing our digestive systems, which is our main theme here on the bright side. It may be the fault of too much food, and we certainly are eating too much food. We don't eat anywhere near the amount of calories that we're getting. But more than likely, what we're talking about here is the fault of a toxic digestive environment, a toxic blood environment that throws off the processing and the elimination of these kind of compounds. Is elevated TMAO and DMAO problematic? Perhaps. Certainly the chemistry of trimethylamine oxide implicates it in, in uh, poisonous reactions. The way, the, the way TMAO is shaped as a chemical leads a, a chemist to believe there could be some problems. The chemistry is set up for DMAO and TMAO. MAO being problematic. That's why the body eliminates the stuff. These kinds of chemicals are unstable. That's why we have a liver. And that's why you want to be careful about how we eat. But this is a far cry from saying that eggs or lecithin or choline or anything that we eat in terms of uh, these power foods is associated with heart disease. All right, that's all I want to say about that. If you have comments, or if you have any questions about that whole topic, about DMAO and TMAO and lecithin and heart disease, you're welcome to call 855-660-4261, 855-660-4261. i got so much more I want to talk about when it comes to acid and osteoporosis, this whole idea of acid blood and alkalinizing. Acid blood, if your blood is acidic, it is a sign of inflammation. Blood is not supposed to be acidic. When you have acid blood, when the, the blood is acidic, remember the blood's got to be slightly alkaline. When the blood is acidic, this is a sign of inflammation. It's a sign of breakdown. It's a sign of disease. Acid blood is not so much the problem, although it is a little bit of a problem. The big issue, however, is why is the blood acidic? And it's not so much to do with foods. I hear, I hear a lot about acid foods, acid-forming foods, alkaline foods. Foods. And, and there may be a, a small amount of truth to uh, some of these people who are saying, oh, you should stay away from the acid-producing foods. Guys like Robert Young, who wrote the book The pH Miracle, which, by the way, has a lot of great stuff in it, although I don't necessarily agree with everything he talks about. This idea of just eating acid foods, just eating alkaline foods, that's not really the problem. Blood acidity is not really caused by foods, mostly, although there may be a slight amount of uh, slight connection. Mostly, if the blood is acidic, you're dealing with metabolic disease, break down disease, biochemical disease. And guess where that starts? It starts with a broken down digestive system. For the most part, acidity in the blood is inflammation and breakdown. And this is why acidity in the blood is, is associated with disease, degenerative disease, and osteoporosis included. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. 855-660-4261 is our number. We'll be back after this. So my elementary school-aged child is begging me for a cell phone. Please, Mom, please. All the kids have them. But I've seen the research, and it makes sense to me that any mobile device that operates using electromagnetic frequencies that close to me or my child's head needs to be blocked. Harmful wireless radiation is real. Protect yourself and your loved ones with Block It Pocket. Call 888-315-9618. Free shipping to the lower 48. BlockItPocket.com. Enhancing health and privacy. The TalkStream Live app for iPhone, iPad, and Android is the fastest and easiest way to access live talk radio anytime, anywhere. Download the free TalkStream Live app right now and see for yourself. You'll enjoy instant access to the best in live talk radio. Find your favorite shows and discover some new ones. The TalkStream Live app is available in the App Store, the Google Play Store, or visit TalkStreamLive.com. That's TalkStreamLive.com. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. 
With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shields law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $33,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $33,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. It's time for a home security. Security quiz. What effective home security device is smaller than a coffee cup, fakes out burglars into thinking someone is home at your house while you're away, plugs into any wall outlet, is recommended by many police departments, and sells for less than $30? Yes, it's fake TV. This year, about one in every 50 U.S. homes will have a break-in, with burglars usually picking the easy target, a dark house that looks like no one is home. Fake TV is a small electronic security device that makes it look like someone Someone is home watching TV by simulating the light from a real TV. Fake TV could be the difference between coming home to a secure house or one that's been ransacked. To get your fake TV for only $29.95 with free shipping, go to faketv.com or call 1-877-5-FAKE-TV. That's 877-532-5388 or go to faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. Free from the shackles of corporate America, we're the place for independent thinkers. GCN. Back on the Bright Side, Pharmacist Ben here. Thanks for being here. If you want to learn more about the Ingevity products, head over to brightsideben.com. Take a look at our shopping cart. Take a specially long look at the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. The Nightly Essence is up there. All the kits, all the systems are up as well. The Healthy Start Pack. There's also a Join the Team link that you can click on if you want to make some money selling Longevity products or start yourself a Longevity business. Get your products at the wholesale price and help spread the word about the power of a good nutritional supplement program. You can also call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. For you guys who have an Android phone, I encourage you to pick up the Brightside app. It's free. You can find it at the App Store. And you can also check out my blog, PharmacistBen.com. And uh, hopefully I'll be writing about this whole TMAO issue if I get to it uh, today or tomorrow. All right. Our number is 855-660-4261. 
I think we'll uh, save this, uh, the rest of this conversation on blood acidity and osteoporosis. And I'll tell you about uh, coming up on a, f- a future Brightside episode. I'm going to tell you a real way to lower your blood acidity, to make your blood more alkaline. That has nothing to do with food. And it's really how our bodies are designed to maintain their alkalinity. There's a system in the body. And I'll, you probably, some of you guys may know what I'm talking about. There's a system in the body that really is set up to make sure that our blood, that to help make sure that our blood pH stays at 7.38, which is slightly alkaline, slightly electricity sucking, slightly like an electricity vacuum cleaner. And we will continue that uh, discussion on our next, on a, uh, coming up bright side episode. 855-660-4261 is our number. Welcome to the bright side. Jack in Indiana. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, you got me? I got you. What's cooking? Hey, my name is Jeff. I've been talking to you. Now, I've, got, I've been dealing with another problem besides my pancreas issues. My left leg swells when I'm on it for a couple of hours. But, you know, I know I go home and I put it up in the air and it goes down. It takes me a couple of days to get back to normal. That's not a good thing, though. Not a good thing, bro. Uh, swelling, swelling, clogging. I mean, fluids aren't moving around like they should be, and usually that means that something is is activating your defense system, your so-called immune system. Uh, now, I'm trying to think. Your voice sounds familiar. Did we talk to you about, uh, about OxyContin a couple of weeks back? Was yeah, that you? Yeah, yeah. And I, that was my first call to you about the opiate withdrawals and getting off of them. I've cut way back. Good job. Good job. You want to think of addictions to painkillers as a brain phenomenon. In fact, you want to think about all addictions or brain phenomena. An addiction is when your brain writes a check that your body can't cash. Your brain says, go get that Oxycontin. Your brain says, go get that sugar. Your brain says, go get that beer or that booze or that those cigarettes. And your body says, no, don't go near that stuff. And that's what really addiction is. It's this battle between our brain and our body. So the best way, and I know you didn't, you're not asking about this, but just for anybody who's out there dealing with some kind of addictive behavior, what you want to do is you want to put your attention into your body and start to pay attention to your body as opposed to your brain. Most of us live in our heads. We live in our minds. We live in our brains. And we do whatever our brains say, say, no matter whether or not our body is screaming at us. So next time, if you're out there listening and you find yourself addicted to food or addicted to sugar or whatever you're addicted to, and most of us have one addiction or another, uh, see if you can notice a difference between how your brain feels about the food or the booze or the cigarettes or the pills, and how your body feels about the booze or the food or the cigarettes or the pills. And if you can place your attention in the body as opposed to, as opposed to the brain, you may find it easier to wean yourself away from foods or whatever you're addicted to. And I know you didn't ask about that, Jeff, but I just want to throw that out there. As far as uh, your leg swelling goes, it could be due to a lot of things, but the first thing you want to think about is an activation of the immune system, and this could be due to a couple of things. Now, it could be due to something you're putting into your body, or it could be due to something you're not putting into your body. More than likely it's a combination of the two. Uh, Sugar, processed food, white bread, cereals, grains, any kind of food that you have a digestive reaction to, those will activate the immune system and those can indeed cause inflammation like leg swelling. Uh, Secondly, deficiencies in the B complex, deficiencies in certain minerals, that can do it as well. So first and foremost, for any kind of swelling issues, and this is not just for uh, uh, swelling uh, swelling in the legs, but this could also be for restless leg syndrome or any kind of nerve or muscle problems in the legs as well, the first thing you want to do is you want to focus on problem foods. And the way you do that is you, you look, you search, you try to find digestive symptoms, constipation, diarrhea, loose stools, cramping, bloating, all the things we talk about here on the bright side, and then you want to link them up to specific foods. And don't try to think, uh, don't, don't be under the impression uh, that, oh, well, I eat really well and, you know, I'm only eating vegetables, so it can't be food, because you could be reacting to anything. You want to link uh, digestive, first you want to find digestive symptoms then you want to link them up to certain foods. Secondly, you want to use all kinds of digestive support nutrients. Personally, I would be using probiotics. I would be using the digestive enzymes, the ultimate enzymes from Longevity. As we've said many times in this program, digestive enzymes have a one-two punch for inflammation. They're anti-inflammatory on their own if you take them on an empty stomach, especially for arthritis pain or dental pain or sinus pain or even migraine headaches. That's if you take them on an empty stomach. And if you take digestive enzymes with food, they're 
their anti-inflammatory benefits will show up because of they'll help your, your body process foods. Always do your digestive enzymes with a little bit of apple cider vinegar. The enzymes are activated by acid. If you're not making enough stomach acid and you take your digestive enzymes, you're not going to get the full benefit of those di- digestive enzymes. They won't be activated. And many people are not making uh, digestive acid, enough digestive acid. Folks, do not underestimate the power of apple cider vinegar as a nutritional supplement and, and as a digestive support aid on its own, not even talking about with with uh, digestive enzymes. Just using apple cider vinegar, if you have gas or you have bloating or you have any kind of digestive discomfort after meals, just using apple cider vinegar can make a huge difference. And Jeff, you said you had a pancreas problem. Well, one of the big problems with the pancreas is it's waiting for acid, uh, for an acid-drenched, uh, 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 acid-coated uh, food to come out of the stomach into the intestine. When we eat food, that food is supposed to be coated with acid, saturated with acid, and that's one of the things that triggers the pancreas. If we're not making enough stomach acid, that triggering is not going to occur. So using digestive acids, uh, digestive uh, acid-supporting supplements like apple cider vinegar or betaine HCL, which is another acid-supporting supplement, these can help the pancreas tremendously. So apple cider vinegar, digestive enzymes can also be helpful. Then there's uh, supplements that you could take specifically for inflammation, specifically for the circulatory system. One of the all-time great supplements for the circulatory system for opening up blood vessels, for keeping things moving as they should be, is niacin, vitamin B3. You'll get a little bit of niacin in the Beyond Tang Tangerine and the Ultimate Daily. Most nutritional supplements, most of the longevity nutritional supplements will get you a little niacin. But if I had a circulatory problem and I had swelling issues, I'd be using... 100 milligrams of uh, niacin, uh, 100 milligrams or so of niacin time relief in addition to the entire B complex, B complex and niacin. Magnesium can also be very helpful. Get on the osteo FX. Make sure you're using around 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams of magnesium a day. Make sure you're getting all of your electrolytes, uh, potassium, calcium, magnesium, sodium, chloride. All these electrolytes can help with the circulatory system. They're very, very important for keeping things moving as they should. Uh, the Beyond Tangy is a great way to get electrolytes. In fact, that's one of the one of the reasons this BTT, Beyond Tangy Tangerine, this BTT, excels as a nutritional supplement is because of its electrolytes. The regular Tangy Tangerine will have electrolytes. Vegetable juices have electrolytes in them. Uh, you should be doing, you know, with all the stuff you got going on, Jeff, you should be doing vegetable juices all day. Get yourself a Vitamix. It's a little bit expensive, uh, 400 bucks or so, but it's well, well worth it. Wonderful insurance program, uh, a health insurance program of Vitamix. And you want to be making veggie juice and and veggie soups all day. Hang tight. A couple more things I want to tell you, Jeff. If you're on hold, stay there. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Pharmacist Ben Fuchs has learned the importance of good fats for good health. Good fats are essential fatty acids, and they're called essential because they're necessary for good health. That's why he uses Ultimate EFAs from Longevity. Among the fats... The most powerful are two fats that are referred to as essential fatty acids. Now, nothing in the world of nutrition is more important than essential fatty acids. The word essential means you better get it in your diet or you're in big trouble. Essential fatty acids are perhaps the most multifunctional and versatile of all the essential nutrients. Essential fatty acids are not just important for the heart. They're important for everything in the body. To get the essential fatty acids that are so important to your body, order Ultimate EFAs from Longevity by calling 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or on the web at brightsidebin.com. That's brightsidebin.com. Order today. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, It was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers a 
additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone at 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy and get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and Installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels, too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. It's hard to imagine when things are going reasonably well, just how quickly things can change. But what would it take? Economic collapse? Massive crop failure? Chemical or biological attack? So many situations could find you in the grocery looking to pick up food for your family only to find that the shelves are empty. There's nothing. Don't let that happen. Act today to make sure that if it ever comes to that, you and your family will be provided for. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com to look at the wide variety of survival foods available. Freeze-dried foods from the Freeze-Dry Guy store longer, rehydrate faster, are nutritionally superior to, and taste better than any other long-term storage food available. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com or call toll-free 866 404 FreezeDryGuy.com The nation's largest independently owned and operated talk radio network. The Genesis Communications Network. GCN. On the bright side, I am pharmacist Ben talking to Jeff in Indiana about uh, leg swallowing. A couple more things I want to tell you in addition to uh, watching out for problem foods. You know, the lymphatic system is really the, uh, that's the big problem when it comes to swelling in the extremities. Uh, and the lymph is processing toxins and poisons out of the digestive system. So you want to really focus on digestive health and wellness. So all the things we talked about, the apple cider vinegar and the digestive enzymes and staying away from the problem foods is going to be important. The B complex is going to be important. Magnesium and electrolytes are important. A couple more things. I want to tell you uh, before we let you go here, buddy, is a f- uh, fiber. Make sure that you're getting enough fiber, um, and that's where the Vitamix is going to come in handy. You can make your own vegetable juices with fiber. The Vitamix gives you the, keeps, uh, allows you to keep the fiber where a regular juicer, you lose the fiber, and that fiber can be very important for helping your body clear excess fluids. Uh, and then make sure that you're getting enough uh, potassium. The Vitamix will also allow you to get potassium as well as other electrolytes, which can help balance out sodium which may have uh, may be causing some some of that swelling uh, sodium retention can keep fluid in the body and that may be uh, one of the reasons why your legs are swelling and last but most certainly not least Jeff you got to do a little bit of exercise you got to move those fluids around you got to move that lymphatic system around and don't forget deep breathing when we deep breathe we move our lymph it's one of the best ways and maybe the best way to move lymphatic fluids around uh, make sure that lymph is moving through the body as it should uh, by breathing uh, practice deep breathing and making sure those muscles in your chest and in your lungs, they're called your intercostal muscles, are moving in and out as you can do your deep breathing. Tons of stuff you could do, and I guarantee you, my friend, if you do even 50% of what we just talked about, you're going to start to notice a difference and you're going to feel better. All right, Jeff? Yeah, I'm sorry. But we had to press until like five. I'm sorry, say that again? Which I thought didn't they see my favorite of my people. I'm just, buddy, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Three pieces of furniture. Did they be injected back down there? I'm not itching. 
I just want to hear what he's telling you because I don't want to be involved in. Jeff, Jeff I'm having. I cannot hear you, Jeff. I don't know. Are you, can, get. Okay. All right, Jeff. If you, if you want to call back, you're welcome to call back. I'm having a hard time hearing you, buddy. I'm sorry about that. I hope we helped you out. All right. So let's go to JD in Texas. Is this my friend JD? Yeah, this, man. Hey, JD. How, how you doing? doing? Guy? I'm doing good. I'm nice for, to talk to you. Nice I'm to talk doing to you. Pretty good. What's yeah, going I just, on? I just turned 78. Congratulations. Uh, Happy birthday. And, uh, I'm rolling good. I love I've it. Got a friend. I've got a friend. He's a, a member of Young Activity. And uh, he's not under me, but I'm just a friend of mine. And uh, his wife was uh, diagnosed with uh, Luke Garrick's disease. Okay. Is there anything special uh, that he can do? Well, everything's special. <laughs> no, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary, though, because ALS is a breakdown disease. It's an inflammatory disease of the nerves. It's nothing, there's nothing unique about ALS in terms, as far as the degenerative disease goes. It's arthritis of the nerves or it's osteoporosis of the nerves, of the nerves in the muscles. It's a breakdown disease that's caused by the same thing that causes osteoporosis and that causes any degenerative disease. It's uh, inflammation and it's a, a degeneration of the tissue of the nerves and the tissue of the muscles. Number one, avoid anything that is causing inflammation. And that means processed foods. That's not, Remember, 90% of what we eat is this kind of uh, ALS-causing food. Let me say that again because that's so important. 90% of the foods that the average American eats are ALS-causing foods. So we basically have developed an eating strategy that causes ALS. ALS is like any other degenerative disease. It's an eating disease in large measure. So avoiding these processed foods, these dead foods, is your first strategy. Then correcting digestive issues, and I will guarantee you 100% anybody with ALS has also got a digestive issue. Usually it's going to be constipation. So you got to correct. It could be blue stools too, but usually it's going to be constipation. That means toxicity is staying in the body. So anything you could do to improve the digestive system, probiotics number one, the nightly essence from longevity, any Anybody with a nerve or muscle issue, folks, nightly essence, probiotics, fermented foods, they're so, so important. Aside from helping you process your uh, uh, processed foods and, and produce vitamins, these things are anti-inflammatory on their own. Yes, the nightly essence and probiotics have anti-inflammatory pro- properties on their own and fermented foods in general, borscht, miso, tempeh, these kinds of foods. Digestive enzymes can be tremendously helpful for folks who have ALS or any kind of inflammatory disease, as we were talking about with our last caller. Take them on an empty stomach and take them with food. The ultimate enzymes are a great digestive enzyme supplement. You can also use pancreatin. By the way, there's a, the difference between pancreatin and digestive enzymes is digestive enzymes are just the enzymes. They don't necessarily come from the body. They, some of them come from pineapple. Some of them come from papaya. Pancreatin is actually pancreatic juices, pancreatic extracts that do contain digestive enzymes in addition to some other substances. So they're both, both of them can be very helpful. Lecithin can be very helpful, uh, helping the body process fats. Intermittent fasting for ALS, very helpful. In fact, Folks who have ALS or multiple sclerosis, and they're very similar to these two disease states, or any kind of nerve or inflammatory health, uh, inflammatory issues of the nerves or the muscles, anybody dealing with these problems will benefit tremendously from number one, intermittent fasting, number two, eating less food, and number three, using liquid nutrients. Liquid nutrition is unbelievably important for people dealing with any inflammatory issue, but especially nerve and muscle health issues. Soups, bone soup can be helpful for ALS, uh, vegetable juices, whey protein smoothies, and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Don't forget about essential fatty acids for all nerve health issues, especially omega-3 fats. Lecithin can be very helpful for folks dealing with ALS. The coating on nerve cells contains lots of lecithin. The coating on brain cells contains lots of lecithin. So any kind of nerve disorders, uh, folks will benefit from lecithin. Any brain health issues, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, you'll benefit from these phospholipids. Eggs can 
be very helpful. The B vitamins, very, very important for all nerve health issues. I'd be using the BTT all day long. And in addition, I'd be using the Ultimate Daily from Longevity, and it probably wouldn't hurt you to get on a B100 pill. Uh, then a vitamin C can be also helpful for all nerve, nerve disease issues. High doses of vitamin C, 10, 15, 20 uh, grams a day of vitamin C. There's so many things you could do here. Uh, magnesium, also very important for nerve health issues. I'd be using 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams of magnesium as well. There's so many more things here with JD, but that's a great place for you to start. Understand this, though. If, he ha- if your friend has you know, ALS, you know, your friend, let me just say this real quick. Let me just say this real quick, JD. If your friend has ALS, you want to really tell him and reinforce to him and everybody out there listening, if you know somebody who has ALS or MS, please let them know they're not condemned. The body is a healing system. This thing can be turned around, but you've got to change your life. The body can turn on a dime, but we got to turn on a dime as well. I'm sorry. Go ahead, J.D. I, I don't know why. I, I knew that's what you were going to say. <laughs> so I say it all the time. But I need, I need to hear you say it. God bless and you, that, J.D. That's, that's, a, that's a, essentially what I was thinking that he needed to do. Uh, he can't you. even get his wife to drink tangy tangerine. Well, he, you can he, lead a horse to a You know what, Jay? Uphill uh, battle. That's a, you know, J.D., God loves people who don't supplement, too. You know, Jesus loves us all, so uh, God bless him. Uh, and it's unfortunate, but that's just how it goes. Thanks so much for calling, J.D. Appreciate it. Have a beautiful day, bro. All right, uh, real quick, Dave, in NY, what is up? What's going on today? Did you say Dave? I said Dave. How you doing? All right, Ben. It's nice to talk to you. I really appreciate you making it really practical and easy for people to understand stuff, you know? Thank you. Thank you. I got two situations. I got a friend of mine who just got diagnosed with uh, hepatitis C. Okay. Yes, it's from way back or whatever. It must have been in him. Uh, and he's... Uh, Wants to know if there's any natural Yes, way. yes, yes, yes. And you know what? We're, we're, not, we're going to run out of time, so I'm just going to answer this question. If you want to uh, call back tomorrow, I'll be glad to take your second question. But hep C is an important issue. Hepatitis is an inflammation in the liver. Uh, it, has very, it can be caused by all kinds of things, and each one of these various things, whether it's a virus or it's a bacteria or whatever it is, they give it a different letter. The fa- it doesn't matter what it causes it. The fact is, is that you have an inflammation in the liver, and this is very understandable considering how we live our lives. The liver does so many things. Next to the skin, the liver is the largest organ in the body. It's the largest organ inside the body. It makes vitamins. It processes fats. It processes sugars. And it's extremely important for detoxification. As toxicity builds up in the body, the liver will suffer. The first thing to do with hepatitis is focus on your foods. Eliminate the... Eliminate... It does have hep C. Is is there any difference in what you... No. The difference is in uh, what causes the hepatitis. The hepatitis itself is the same. Dave, I'm so sorry. We're, We're just out of time, my friend. Uh, I'll cover hepatitis tomorrow, first thing, uh, on our next show. I'm not going to be doing a show tomorrow, but I'll be covering up. I'll, I'll cover it on our next program that I do for you, and I apologize, Dave. I, I feel bad about that. I hate leaving people hanging, but that's just how it is. We only have an hour on the bright side. Uh, on our next program, we'll continue talking about osteoporosis, and we'll continue talking about acidity, and then uh, we'll start the program off talking about hepatitis as well. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out my website, brightsideben.com. Check out my blog, pharmacistben.com, and stay tuned for Alex Jones next on most of these stations. We'll talk to y'all later, folks. Bye for now. If you're worried about your health and you're tired of the nasty side effects of harsh drugs or antibiotics, then look no further. Supernatural Silver is the answer. Supernatural Silver is a powerful immune system enhancer that can be used every day to help keep you healthy and well with none of those nasty side effects. It's extremely safe for use internally as well as topically. And Supernatural Silver is hundreds of times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. It is perfect for use in the sinuses, eyes, ears, and on any wound or skin issue. Supernatural Silver is also extremely effective when taken orally and can help fight off bacteria, viruses, and mold that may be overwhelming your immune system. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER2014 for 20% off of your entire order and give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. 
But did you know the Berkey's have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. 